Okay, I did a download time, uh, seventh grade distance learning. We did a survey of core classes for the teachers that teach seventh grade, uh, which does include uh, Ms. Lundstrom as well. Just kind of wanted to touch base with some of them and we did okay. Um, so let's take a look at what we got. We did the survey around the week of September 30th, 85 students responded and were given a variety of open-ended questions to clarify their specific survey responses. Uh, this is a survey format that I've used uh, personally before in spring for distance learning and then also have used within uh, classes and shared with other teachers. So we collaborated as a seventh grade team to kind of formulate, formulate the questions, try to get some feedback from students about how they're doing and how distance learning is going. So first we asked them, how are you feeling on a scale of Disney leads? And we wanted them to consider the facial expressions, not personal opinion of the characters. And based on the survey results, um, unfortunately I can't get the circle quite square up the way we want it to. Um, so there's a key down in the right-hand corner here. If you're not familiar with the characters, this is Meg, Aladdin, get myself out of the way, um, Elsa and Naveen. And so we asked them to just consider the facial expressions. We can see based on their responses that we had 43%, um, a little over 43% saying that they were feeling like Aladdin, about 15% Elsa, 9% uh, Naveen, and then 31% feeling like Meg as this survey was conducted. So then we did ask them, what makes you say that? And in the case of Meg, it was mostly tired, stressed, or school slash Schoology, just kind of having some confusions or frustrations related to school and Schoology. For the Aladdin crowd, they are just okay. The computer thingy, so just kind of having some computer issues, or they're bored. Or simply they said IDK, which I'm covering. There we go. Um, for Elsa, they were feeling chill, so kind of riffing off the character, or simply okay. And then some of those were just happy, and so they recognized the kind of smirk on her face, they're feeling happy. And for Naveen, we heard happy, feel good. Um, sorry, for Naveen, we heard happy and feel good. Next, we asked them, how is distance learning going so far on a scale of Disney sidekicks? And again, we asked them to consider facial expressions and not personal opinions of the characters. Of course, there were some answers that were more based on personal opinion of characters, but for the most part, we got legitimate information based on this survey. It seems that maybe the key didn't make it onto this one. Yeah, I didn't get the key on here, I guess. Oh, I'm covering it, there it is. Um, so Pascal is the top right over here. Um, Sebastian over here on the left, Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast down here, and then Timon and Pumbaa over here. 61% of students when this survey was conducted were feeling like Pascal, and we'll get into the why in just a second. Um, only 8% feeling like Sebastian, so that's a win, I would say. We don't really have kids that are just kind of totally out of it with the jaw on the ground like he is. Um, but then only 30% down in this bottom half in the positive areas of Lemire and Timon and Pumbaa. So as we ask them what makes you say that, and I'm going to go ahead and center myself, kind of Brady Bunch style, Schoology sucks for the small group that was saying Sebastian, uh, too much work, and harder meaning it was harder than in-person learning. Same for Pascal, people who just weren't feeling quite this bad about it still feel that it's hard, it's stressful, and they miss their friends. Uh, for the group down in, uh, and there's just, I hate it. Um, and I think that was a variety of, actually I know that's a variety of people who just kind of hate school anyhow, and then the ones who are just hating our current distance learning model. For um, those that are feeling like Lumiere, simply, I'm not mad or it's okay, um, and I'm doing good. And then for the Timon and Pumbaa, that small portion over there, honestly, not even necessarily a positive thing, they're just happy to be at home because they don't want to get sick, and they feel that it's easy. And of course, it's easy to be on time when there's 10 minute passing periods, which brings us a little bit into our next couple of questions here. We asked if they've been able to access Schoology and complete their tasks on time. And we can see that overall, yeah, things are going great or I can access it, but I'm having struggles meeting deadlines. Some people simply are forgetting to check and do not finish. So they asked us as teachers to please give them reminders about when things are due. And we have been making an effort to do that on the seventh grade team. Feedback based on this, we just had, again, Schoology sucks. That particular um, group of students kind of said that over and over. And these were not coached answers. Um, I can find everything that well, uh, a vote to go back to Google Classroom, and then the comment, there's lots of work. I think, can I get this out of the way? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hide that. 
Uh, we did ask how often do you check PowerSchool Gradebook for missing work, and we found that pretty often um, people are checking it at least once a week, but around 50% are actually checking it at least every two to three days or every single day. And then are you continuing to check your email? And yes, we're seeing that 65% of students are checking it every day, and then another 30% are checking it at least every couple of days. So we asked them what was working well, and granted the word cloud doesn't come out perfect, but um, for those who are familiar with word clouds, which I think is most of us, um, the bigger the word is, the more popular that it is. And so since this was things that are working well, we made it heart-shaped. Um, an overwhelming response of IDK, of course, but then they said teachers are working well, everything is working well, or nothing is working well. Um, and then it was going good. Overwhelmingly, people were saying it's going good. Um, the camera comment that's there was actually students suggesting that they think they work better when their cameras are off. Um, and, you know, we're seeing mixed, mixed results on that. Some students getting frustrated that they can't have them off, some frustrated that, they, um, that their peers don't have them on. But that was definitely one of the big responses as we see again what is not working well as we check in with them um and homework overwhelmingly here homework is the thing that is not working well they feel overwhelmed by it they feel like there's too much of it um a little bit in the wi-fi issues and then of course the classic nothing and everything so we did a quick survey once again um just the week of october 13th so today as i'm recording this we did a survey in core classes related to second step. So for the assignment list for today, smaller portion of response, um, only 37 students, I wanna say for this one, uh, 31 students. And we asked them on the scale of Chicago sports, how they were feeling, like AJ, when you get punched in the face, uh, the double doink, the Patrick Kane breakaway, or the Michael Jordan classic slam dunk. Um, and we can see that we have 26% that are feeling like the double doink. Uh, we got 33% that are kind of feeling like AJ getting punched in the face. Um, and then around 40%, a little more than that, that are in the positive range of our boys Kaner and, and of course, his airness. Um, so what makes them say that? Well, in the case of AJ getting punched in the face, they're feeling like school is the one punching them in the face. They're missing work and they're stressed. Um, with the double doink, it's mostly tired, but then also the concern about the end of quarter coming. So the quarter ending soon, and they're kind of realizing that the pressure is on them to get it done. Uh, for those feeling like Kaner, they are focused. And as we can see, he is here. Um, and or we just had some students that are having a good day. And then um, for those feeling like MJ ready to dunk, it was because they had no homework so far today. And again, this survey was third period. Uh, or feeling happy and trying to do their best. I think homework has been held back a little bit simply because it's the last week of the quarter, trying to get things focused and getting those last quizzes in. Uh, so that's where we finish out this, just kind of taking a look at how things may have improved or not so much improved over the last few weeks. I think to me, one of the key things as we look through these survey results is when we go back to um, how they're feeling about uh, the school format and the connections with Schoology, and we've got 61% that are just kind of up here like Pascal. That's kind of the key thing to me, is that's where we're having the struggle. It's just kind of having this stuff actually connect properly for them. So that's what we got for you for today. I'm just kind of wanted to touch base on what it looks like and share it out. So data download. Thank you, Chuck Todd, for the idea from Meet the Press. Um, we do enjoy doing this.